Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, Designing uh, Craft with Seed Every Day. And this is Charlie. Um, it's been a while in it since I've done a video. Uh, Mama's here, so we, of course we have to kind of, uh, you know, catch up. <laughs> so January. <laughs> and um, anyway, and I've been busy with other things. But we're gonna try to resume our videos and uh, uh, I just wanna, you know, let you know what's been going on. Um, what we're gonna do today, uh, a couple of things. Uh, we're gonna do, I'm gonna, first of all, let me show you what I have done with my stucco, which is beautiful. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe you can see this one. See it? Okay, see how it has these little lines in here? These little lumpy little lines? This is because I did the very first coat. And, and you can see it better probably also, can you see all this? Okay. And when that happens, you know, the, the cardboard kind of absorb a lot of the moisture and make it look that way. And this is why you actually need two coats of you, um, well, you know, that, what is it called? Let me tell you, I mean, I got a bottle here somewhere, hold on. I just threw it away, okay? <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> um... The modeling paste, okay, modeling paste or uh, stucco or, you know, anything like that. I made my own, and let me show you, and I'm gonna tell you what I did. Now this little bottle had just a little bit of gesso, and I thought, okay, that's fine. Uh, I put into that uh, some uh, chalk paint, white, and then a little bit at a time, I put some um, talcum powder, just good old talcum powder. You know, baby powder. I think I got this at Dollar Tree, so that was just a dollar. And it's got at least half, and I done quite a bit of it. So it's gonna last you a while. But if you're gonna do a big project, of course you need quite a bit of it, okay? Uh, this is the consistent of it, see? Almost like a meringue that is going nowhere. It's not going, well, unless you do, you know, do it that way. If you want it a little bit stiffer, you can, but I think this is gonna be just fine. Uh, as I work it on it, I'll be able to tell, you know, what's going on. Now, I have already done the, uh, you know, the entrance hall of it, two coats, so I know that's fine. I also did it right between the, uh, the archway of the doors, okay? And the beautiful of it is that you can sand it, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's so beautifully smooth after you sand it. So really, you know, that's all you have to do to it. And also I put it on in here. You know, we put this piece of uh, burlap, kind of a ribbon. Well, over that I went over, I call it stucco, whatever you call it, I don't know. Anyway, uh, over it really, really good. And then I just kind of, you know, uh, with my good old, you know, fingernail file, I just, you know, sand it off, okay? And also, after I did the second coat in here, very lightly, I just kind of went around like this. It mainly in case there was just a little lump or something, you know, sticking out, you can kind of smooth it out. But you don't want to go too much because you want to keep that stucco look, okay? And the kind of old world look. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one coat right in here, okay? Because I still have to do the other one in Spanish. And then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna put it on our board, okay? So let's just go for it. Uh, also, you know, of course I'll show you how to put these walls on so I didn't have to do it again. So I put this next wall in. And then I have the last wall that I will put up here also. And they will have all four little walls in there, okay? And uh, so let's get started. And with my little trout in here, we're gonna do it. And of course I did glue it when I, you know, uh, and everything, uh, but of course right in here is where is the critical part of it. And it really need, always needs about a couple of coats. So I'm gonna come here and just really good on it, on that's right on the corner. And then you just kind of, uh, you know, start building on it. Okay. 
because you want this pretty smooth, okay, the, the, those corners. And you can use your fingers, anything you want, okay? Whatever works for you is fine. I've done it all. Uh, make sure you keep some uh, wipes or something on your hands because this stuff really does uh, stay on your fingers. It'll come off, of course, but uh, as you work on it, uh, it will stay on your fingers. And I tell you, this stuff, it's not really, I just got to scrubby and kind of scrub my hands. Otherwise, it stay there pretty good. Okay, let's see if we can do this. I hope you can see that. Lighting is terrible, and I'm sorry. Let's see, let me do the bottom one. Okay, how is that? Maybe you can see that a little better. And I just kind of put it on there, just kind of, you know, kind of, just any way but loose. This stuff really, it dries really fast when I did it just with the talcum and the uh, chalk paint, okay? Uh, it really did. Uh, so I haven't tried it with the, uh, with the chalk uh, or the gesso. But, uh, like I said, I had a little bit in there and I wanted to use this container because it's easy for me to kind of stir it up and everything and don't get it everywhere. And the other little uh, container for the, uh, for the other stuff, uh, it was kind of a small, so that's why. And, you know, it's just kind of a... Let's see. Can you see that? You may not be able to see it too good, and I'm sorry, but you kind of, you know... I think you kind of sort of you know kind of tell what I'm doing and then you can smooth a little bit here and there if you like but it's no rhyme or reason how to do that just get your little spatula here and you just kind of you know do it and I didn't know whether I made myself clear the other video, and I thought I'll just go ahead and do it again since I had to do this wall anyway. Uh, I I'm not not put any uh, wallpaper on my wall because really, uh, the um, this is what they use on the old houses and you know in Europe, or especially in Spain. So uh, you know that's the way I wanted mine done. But you're welcome to put wallpaper or you know, uh, or fabric in it. You know, if you have fabric, it may be easier that way. Uh, put it print or whatever. That'd be kind of cute. Uh, Bubble ribbon, I'm gonna be using, and I don't know how this gonna work. We're gonna, have, you know, figure it out. I will let you know, in other words. The floor of my, um, my dollhouse is gonna be black and white checks. Because it used to have that too. And I love black and white checks anyway. And so that's that's gonna be my floor. And I just happened to find some at the Hobby Lobby. And I'll show them to you in a little bit. Um, and I got two sheets. I think I might be able to do it, but you might wanna get another one. I don't know, we'll see. See, and, and then you just kinda smooth a little bit here and there. Especially if you have a little lump or something and you don't want it. And also, I keep a little rag in here that doesn't matter and kind of clean my spatula a little bit. This is really turning out really, 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 really cute and I really like it. So see, that's it, that's all it needs. And um, once, like I said, I may just smooth it a little bit here and a little bit there and you still have that, you know, Tuscany kind of a look. But I don't want any of those little blumpy thingies sticking out from the uh, cardboard. So if I have to go back <clears throat> and do a little bit more over it, I will. Because this is just wonderful. This is better than anything I know. I think it's fantastic. And like I said, it really dries fairly fast. I was amazed. And I think this may also go into, uh, you know, dry pretty fast, okay? Alrighty. Well, that's that wall. Let me 
Can I clean this up real quick? I see I had this piece of a uh, fabric that I was gonna throw away and I go, whoa, let me get out. Let me get it out so that I can <laughs> use it for a rag. <laughs> There's a couple of things, new stuff that I have figured out and I thought it'd be really, really great. Okay, first of all, I have decided to put, you know, we have made all of these adjustments in here to bring the house in. Well, I forgot that I had to make another little building in the front and I thought, hmm, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. So I decided to go right at the edge of the, can you see right at the edge, right here, right into the edge, okay? Like that. Now, also, I was talking to B, and thank you, B, because you're a fantastic helper. <laughs> she, she's an awesome lady. Anyway, uh, we were talking about, you know, the what I have used the toothpicks for the, uh, you know, uh, sliding the walls into this big other wall, which is great. That is fine, no problem. But to strengthen the walls. Uh, I got to talking about it and decided that skewers is probably the best thing you could get. First of all, you got a nice little fine point in there. Plenty of room, as they say. You got plenty left over. Okay. And very slowly, we can hammer it down, each one of them. After we put, of course, the glue in it and glue it into the uh, this bottom part of it. Okay. So, for instance, but when you get ready to do that, you want to do the whole house at one time. Put the glue in every, in every piece, you, under every little wall that you needed it, okay? Like so. Excuse me. Make sure it's even to the edge and in here too, okay? On the, on the front edge and the side edge. It's nice and even and of course it would be even and then you put your uh, bead of whatever of um, the wood glue that's what I'm gonna use it right in here and also you would use it at the bottom of it okay on all the walls and all where the wall supposed to go into okay then you would do this wall first Okay, once you do this wall and the glue is on the bottom of the wall and, 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 and on the base, you would get your little hammer and it's this easy, folks. Just slowly, don't go, okay. It goes straight down to the bottom of this base. So that's, see how much, just one I did it, look at that. Now, the next thing you're going to do and only when I do one, okay, because I do need to do the next lesson, just to give you an idea. And of course, make sure that all of this will have been, you know, oops, straight. Oops, there we go. Somehow I didn't do it right. Hold on, just, just a second. Okay, let's do it again. Make sure that that's in there. Now, whoops. <laughs> you may need an extra hand in there. Okay, let me do this again, okay? Right here. Now I got it, okay? And it's right in there, okay? And just for good measure, I'm going to do the back also. That, that's it, I know it's gonna, it's already down there, see? Okay, then we know that the kitchen measures eight and a half inches, you know, the width of it. So, I'll make sure that from the inside wall to the next wall, we have eight and a half inches. I'll make sure that I know where the half is. Okay, right here. And I just bring this wall into it. Once I got my wall in there, make sure it's right at the edge of this. It's flush with the bottom, you know, of the, uh, of the base. And again, there you go, and you got it, so that's even. Then it was six inches this way. 
on the hall. So again, I just make sure that my six inches is between the walls because, you know, uh, they shift a little bit. Especially because you do not, okay, there we go, six inches. So once I have my six inches, I would put my little uh, handy dandy, whoops. This one may need a little bit of a help, hold on. It is that easy, see? It took a little bit because I put that uh, stack of stuff over it probably. Anyway, I mean, make sure that I do it again and I measure it from this edge in here to this edge, the inside edges of the hole should be six inches right there. And again, make sure it's flush with the, you know, with the base. And then, that's it. Now we got it. Of course, all of this is gonna be, you know, with glue. So you're not gonna have any problem with it. Once it's in there, you let it dry overnight, no problem. You might wanna put some in here also on the, uh, outside wall and once that's done and dry good and dry just come in here and, and nip them with a you know wire cutter or just a little because this is just see that's it now that's nice and flush this is just one little you know little uh what you call it um jewelry kind of a you know wire cutter and look how you see it cut it off and that you will cut them all off, of course, once it's nice and glue. But not before, because we want the bottom to make sure it's good and glue. All right? So this is what we've done so far. So next time we come, all the bottom part of the floor is going to be together. And we can start on the floor. And then some of the uh, molding on the dining, on the dining room, uh, put the, we're going to be doing, of course, the door, which I also did. Remember that which we cut from the door? Okay, don't throw it away as I told you. We're gonna make the door. We're gonna put hinges on it. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. And again, I put the same thing and then I sanded it very, very nicely. I tried it on several times, okay, until I know that my door was gonna be just fine, okay? And then I know when it's open, it's gonna be able to open and close with no problem, okay? And I did have to do some really, uh, uh, what you call it, sanding to it. And if you th feel like it's too much, don't worry about it. Put some more stuff on it, okay? Just sand off as much as you need and then put some more stuff over it and then again sand it off and make it smooth and, the, and you got it. So the only thing you have to do then is paint it the color that you want. In here, what I did is nice and hard right now. I just got me a little syringe and I squeezed a lot of the... Um, we call it glue on it between it all of this area down and that's going to give me this support that I need in here and you can get a syringe you know at the drugstore I know we can in here and I just you know squeezed in there the uh, the glue really really good uh, you don't have to do it with a needle you just kind of poke some holes in it as many as you can and then just you want it all the way to the top okay it makes it nice and hard so when we do glue the um, you know the hinges it's not gonna be any problem we, you, and then we can put in also the little screws with some glue and it's gonna stay there and believe me this this little door will be just fine and we put in one in here and one in here okay so this is what is coming up and then also uh, when I show you let's see hold it hold it lights don't go away yet <laughs> see I could I can almost pick it up and it's still okay Ah, here we go. You know, to make the arches for the, uh, to make the molding, excuse me, not the arches, to make the molding, especially because I want this one in the kitchen. Let me pull this up for right now because we don't, we're good already. We know what we're gonna do. Okay, st what I did is, okay, can you kind of see it? See the little arch in here? Okay. So what I did is I put on the up, on the inside, on this, on the back side, on this side, the side of the wall, 
I put the cardboard in there, a cardboard, and then with a pen, I went around it, the whole thing, okay? They gave me the uh, opening of my arch, okay? And then uh, I cleaned it, make sure that it's not wiggly or anything like that, you know, straight. And then I came out half an inch and I just measure all the way around it. And then I just cut it out. The whole thing, the inside and the outside. And this is my molding for the inside of the kitchen. Because the other ones, since it's gonna be all world, I'm gonna leave it as they are. But the kitchen, I wanted some molding on my little door, on my doorway. So that's where I wanna put it. And this is how I did it. So put a cardboard right on the side of the hall, or the entrance hall, and then from the inside of the kitchen, just round your pen all the way inside of the archway. And then one half an inch from there out, and then cut it out. And then you get a perfect little molding. And then what I have done, I also put some of this uh, mixture in it. I just paint it through it really, really good to stiffen it up. Sand it off, and it's ready to be painted now, which I'm gonna paint it white anyway. And be, once I have it painted, I will be gluing it on. That's that. Simple, 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 okay? Uh, so we we'll hope to see you next time, and we'll be doing some more on our little house. See you guys, bye-bye.